join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans. Just make it Ireland. Parks a jewel in the crown in Belfast. It's nestled next to Queen's University and it's a popular hangout for all the students. But it's always been an oasis for the people of Belfast, even through the darkest days of the Troubles. Near the main entrance to the park sits the Ulster Museum. It's an interesting building. Its 1960s brutalist concrete extension merges halfway along into the original neoclassical facade. Then there's the recently renovated tropical ravine right next to the museum. This brick building from 1887 houses some plants that are thought to be more than 150 years old. This place is a must for botanists. And then we have the Palm House designed by Belfast architect Charles Lanyon. This is one of the first curvilinear cast iron glass houses in the world. It predates the one in Kew Gardens in London and also the one in Glasnevin in Dublin. Construction of the Palm House began in 1839 and the two wings, built by Richard Turner of Dublin, were added in 1840. The gardens are a lovely place to relax summer's day, or even on a nice autumn day, like today. Some nice alleys and walkways laid out in the gardens, bordered with shrubs and plants of all sorts. So it's a great place for a leisurely walk. There's one of the local residents 